Previously, Sandeep challenged me to create my own kosong plan. We need to act now, even the simple action can make a change. I learned about eating consciously and reducing food waste. So on a ballpark figure, we're throwing away 30% of everything that we import. 30%, that's a lot. I also receive a peculiar call. Hi, Eileen. Louis here. I've heard you've got a kosong plan. So, I'm here to meet him on a HDB rooftop at Yishun. <laughs> Did I mention that I'm afraid of heights? Hey, Louis! Hello! Reuse, my daughter's fan. Okay, so what do you call me here for and what are we doing here? To show you to the most beautiful place in Singapore. Uh... Yishun. Okay, but to also talk about climate change. So okay. we focus a lot on the economy, on mm. jobs, on healthcare, on schools, but without a healthy planet, everything will come to nothing. And so, what can we do? That's what I wanted to show you. This is one thing that we're pushing for. Over 60% of the electricity for municipal fittings here in Yishun is from solar energy. And now, we hope, with your Kosong plan, you can join us. How much of Singapore has solar panels ready to change to renewable resources? We're getting there. Okay. So we're increasing our sources and trying to harvest more solar energy in Singapore. We're pushing this up big time. Okay. So on the rooftops, even in air bases, as I shared in Parliament, mm. we're putting out the solar panels mm. and we now need Singaporeans to come on board. Isn't it more expensive? It is, unfortunately, but you know, as technology grows, as more and more people get on board, I think the prices will go down. Mm -hmm. But for a start, maybe you can go on 1%. Okay, I'll, I'll consider that. Or you can just use the fan. Okay, if you can keep fanning me, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Sandeep! Hey, today I need your help. Sure. I need you to teach me about labels and how to buy consciously. So over here, you see this is FSC. Mm. And this is the label that is given to those paper products that have taken sustainability into their accounting. Similar kind of label that is called MSC mm. or the AFC, that's for the aquaculture products. Maybe a little bit more premium than the normal one, mm. but those products are much more good for the environment and for the climate. But at the same time, I'm also thinking of how I can consume lesser because it's also better for my pockets, Indeed. right? Indeed. So I'm going to meet an expert. Her name is Robin. She is going to teach me some tricks and hacks to sort of like reduce my waste and reuse some of the items uh, at home. I'll let you know what's up later. Okay, good luck for that. <laughs> so zero waste is such a far away idea. It's a journey. Let's say everybody reduced their waste by 5%. That's much better than 1% of people reducing their waste by 100%. I have the same existential angst as most people have. The planet is burning. What can I do about it? And I realized that I could research these things and condense it in a way that's accessible. So the problem isn't plastic, it's single-use stuff. We have to just cut down on all single-use things. Most biodegradable materials require industrial composting. Mm. Singapore doesn't have industrial composting. This straw is a biodegradable straw. I put this straw in the bin about two years ago. As you can see, right, yeah. it's not breaking down. I used to buy biodegradable uh, rubbish yes. bag. Yeah, Thinking exactly. that I'm helping the environment. And, and you're trying to do the right thing. Yeah, I yeah. totally get that. So what can we do in terms of reducing waste? Because as Singaporeans, we love to shop and shop and shop. Make yourself a gift list. Whenever somebody says, what would you like? You've got this list. I understand the need to have some kind of buffer, but I don't have two years worth of Maggie Me, you know, in mm. case of the zombie apocalypse. <laughs> the number one hack is you want to reduce food waste. I used to always find stuff mm. at the back of my fridge once mm. it had gone bad. What are the things that are going to expire soon? So I want to put this in the front. So what I'll do with the vegetable scraps is I put them into this bin. I use earthworms, mm -hmm. or you can even just dump it in a flower pot. That actually works. And I can put this in my plants, or if I have too much of it, I can give it to one of the community gardens. These were like very overripe calamansi. Mm. And so what I do is I take these peels and I put them in vinegar. Mm. Now smell this. It smells good. It smells nice, right? Yeah. First you leave it mm -hmm. for, you know, a month or two. Mm -hmm. And that what you end up with is you end up with this nicely scented vinegar. It's really great as a cleaner. 
This is a, a laundry hedgehog. To, as your clothes tumble in the dryer, mm -hmm. it just keeps them soft. And of course, hanging your clothes out to dry is better. I'm more hardcore. I never order delivery. Never? I, I ordered a couple of times mm -hmm. during lockdown mm -hmm. because I wanted to support some restaurants. Mm -hmm. I am the opposite. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Now we know what your challenge is. <laughs> And so I want to share with you my croissant plan. Okay. Eat locally grown food or buy more locally grown food. You're not going to be able to do that unless you cook for yourself. Cut down on food delivery. One, two, maybe three days a yeah. week yeah. and try to learn to cook a few things. And I will add that to my croissant list. Excellent. Second one is I love taking the taxi. So I'm going to try at least one day a week to just take public transport. If you pick one day a week and you've got a lot of stuff, it's not going to happen. Whenever you're not in peak hours, mm. that's when you're going to take public transport. And the third one is to replace products that are bad for the environment or to consume lesser. So what's more important is just to buy less stuff. I've got all the hacks today. I don't need softener anymore. I'm just going to buy a hedgehog. Great! <laughs> now you've got something, now you found a way to buy. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Can you give me your hedgehog so I don't have to buy it? No, I'm sorry, that's my hedgehog. You know there's what they call step zero, your intention. So you've got to think of a way of reframing it in your own mind. If you're traveling yeah. that's off-peak, yeah. and you're not like in a super rush to get somewhere, yeah. it's actually really nice. So the custom plan has to work for my life. Exactly. Okay, got it. In the next episode. You even trying to do your part to help the environment, not just because your government tells you to. Then maybe it can help because you are doing it out of natural interest. Try to be more environmentally conscious. Think about your actions. It's true. Actually, it's not so hot because the trees are helping to cool us down. By 2030, we hope to plant another million trees here in Singapore. As part of Earth Hour 2021, the Cosmic Plan aims to encourage climate actions. Whether you are an individual or business, it is designed for you to commit to specific actions to help achieve a low-carbon, climate-resilient Singapore. Go to earthhour.sg to find out more.